so in this video let us discuss about uh, arm thumb uh, interworking so here we are going to discuss about uh, the transition of the state from uh, arm state to thumb state uh, basically actually how the transition happens from how the switching happens from one state to another state that switching happens with the help of the branch instructions so of course you have a uh, arm version of the branch exchange and the thumb version of the branch exchange and branch exchange that is used to set t is equal to uh, 1 so that t is equal to 1 is set in the cpsr mode uh, for through that one actually the switching of the state happens so whenever actually the most important thing, th thing is bit of uh, 0 which is equal to t whenever it is equal to 1 uh, let me write in capital t is equal to 1 uh, so either uh, either uh, remain in uh, arm state sorry t is equal to 1 means thumb state or leave from arm state to thumb state or let me write switch here switch from arm state to thumb state okay so whenever uh, bit of uh, 0 that is equal to t is equal to 0 either remain in arm state or switch from arm state to sorry switch from thumb state to arm state ok so this is what is important here now of course uh, as you can see here you have the thumb version branch exchange as well as the thumb version branch exchange with link here so we study this one actually how the uh, with an example how the switching of the state happens from one state to another state so let me go to this uh, example here so in this example we can see here it is a 32 bit instruction that is arm code so it is a word aligned so word aligned so let me write uh, different uh, addresses here so that it becomes uh, simpler to understand so let me take this one to be triple zero nine triple four zeros let me take this one to be triple zero nine triple zero four zero x triple zero nine triple zero eight okay so maybe next instruction what follows is triple zero nine triple zero c maybe thumb code uh, let me write it here zero uh, x let me take uh, triple zero one four zeros and zero uh, x triple zero one this is two why this is two because this is half order line and it is 16 bit instruction that is thumb is 16 bit instruction so it is uh, incremented by 2 address is incremented by 2 and this is 32 bit instruction word aligned so address is incremented by 4 here and uh, let me take uh, address of uh, thumb code let me write it here is equal to 0 x triple 0 uh, what is 1 4 zeros that is what it is written here next one uh, let me take r naught value is equal to 0 x all zeros 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so let me have it here so this is uh, ldr r naught is equal to thumb code plus 1 this is load instruction where pc is offsetted with the 1 here so whatever the value that is there here so 0 x uh, triple zero one four zeros this value is added with the 1 here and uh, finally what you get is r naught value is r naught value is 0 x uh, 0001 0001 isn't it so that is what r naught you get it here this is special loading constant that you have it here now what is this this is a special uh, move uh, instruction move lr comma pc see one thing what you have to note down is whenever the assembler encounters this instruction move lr comma pc it understands that next instruction it is going to be bx r naught so next instruction there is going to be branch instruction so when there is going to be branch instruction it understand the pc what it does is that here lr will be equal to pc plus 8 here so what is the value of a pc here so the pc value is 0x triple 0 
4 here. So that will be added with the 8 here. So what you get is 0x, 0x, 0009, 00 C here. Why it is 4? Because as you can see here, this is the PC address that you have. Okay, before the uh, before the execution of this instruction, the PC value will be 0009, 0004. So LR comma PC that PC is incremented by by 8. So LR so 0009, 0004 plus 8. This is what you get, and that value is stored into the LR. Okay. So that value is stored into the LR. So that is not to set the return address. So you not to know the return address because branch action will not uh, by default store the return address. So in order to store the return address, you have to move the PC content to LR here. So what do you have the BX comma R not here? That is basically branch of term codes. We shall verify that one. So that what happens here? PC is equal to what is the value of the R not here? That is the RM here. So 0x R not is 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1. It is ended with 0x uh, f f f f f f f p. So when it is ended with the if, the what is the value that you get here? PC. So this is basically 0x triple 0 1 four zeros so this is what you get so that is basically the pc address and that is what you get here so finally after you get this one so what is this uh, thumb that is bit of zero so bit of zero is equal to uh, what do you have the bit of zero that is rm of zero so rm of zero is uh, what do you have here that is one here isn't it so that is what you get here so whenever it becomes one here so basically you are moving from there is a transition that happens that happens is arm code to thumb code so this moves from arm state to thumb state here for this address so add r1 comma hash one whatever the value that you have in r1 that is added with the one here so after this one bxlr so bxlr what happens here is that as we know lr value is this one so same thing repeats pc is equal to 0x triple zero nine triple zero c this is Ended with 0x f f f f f f f e. So when that is ended with uh, this value, 0x triple zero nine triple zero c. This is what you get, isn't it? So when this is ended with this one, this is the value that you get. So PC actually will be pointing towards this address. Now, of course, uh, what happens to your uh, T value, T value will be equal to bit of zero. So bit of zero means RM of zero. So in this case, LR of zero. What is your LR of zero? So this value will be one one double zero, isn't it? C means actually what you have here. This value, the last value, it is one one double zero. So finally, actually you have this zero here. So when you have zero here, basically you are moving from again. Uh, thumb state to arm state. So when you are moving from thumb state to arm state, what is the address that you will move here? This is 0x triple zero nine triple zero zero x triple zero nine triple zero c. So you will move from uh, this address to this address that is from thumb state to arm state with the address this one. Again, the execution of the instructions continues after this branch exchange instruction. This is how the switching of the state. Uh, from arm state to thumb state and again from thumb state to arm state happens of course here related the return address is not stored here so in order to store the return address for, uh, into the link register you are going to have this instruction move lr comma pc so this is fine so uh, so but this has a disadvantage as i said earlier we have to use uh, one more instruction that is move lr comma pc to store the return address so let us actually move towards the another um, uh, branch exchange with the link so that there is no um, requirement of this instruction to be used to store the return address so if you just take out this one this is the branch exchange uh, with the link instruction so let me have the same one that i'm going to write here so 0x zero zero nine zero zero zero. 0 0 so let me have a 0x triple zero nine triple zero four okay so blx r not now what do we have here is so let me take this one 
zero x triple zero one four zeros and zero x triple zero one two. So when you have this one, so what happens here is, uh, so let uh, let me take uh, thumb protein is equal to zero x. Uh, let me take the same thing that uh, zero zero one four zeros and r naught is equal to zero x. Okay. So now what happens here is this: this when this instruction is uh, this is a loading constant instruction. So when this instruction is executed, so what will be the value that is stored in r naught here? So r naught is equal to zero x uh, zero 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 one. Thumb routine is okay, fine. Zero 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 one. This is what is the value of the R naught here. So BLX R naught here. So once you have, once you have to understand, so LDR R naught is equal to thumb routine plus one zero X triple zero one triple zero one. This is the value of the R naught here. Now, so let me actually uh, go back and see what is the ARM version of the branch exchange. So this is the ARM version of the branch exchange with the link here. Okay. I don't worry about this one. So let us actually take this one. So okay. So PC is equal to RM. Same thing we shall follow. Now we just observe here what happens here. Now what is the value of the PC that you have it here? PC is equal to zero x. Uh, what is the value of the R naught here? Triple zero one triple zero one. It is handed with uh, what is the value? Zero x f f f f f f f e. And this is ended with this one. What is the value that you get here? Zero x. So what is the value that you get here? Uh, as you can know, this so one is ended with this zero. So finally, what you get is zero zero one zero 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 zero. So what is this address? That address zero x triple zero one four zeros is same as this one. Okay. Of course, for that one, one more thing. What you require? That is T value, so T value is equal to bit of zero, that is R n of zero. So what will be the value of the R n of zero? That in this case actually it is R naught. So what is this value that you get here? This value that is one here, isn't it? So this value is one here. So T is equal to one here. So T is equal to one means what happens here? That is there is a switch from arm state to thumb state. So that is It moves into thumb state, so it moves to thumb state. There is a switch from arm state to thumb state, and the PC will be having this address. So that's how actually add R1 comma hash one. So one is added with R1, result into store in R1 here, and uh, this in the BX R14. After this one, this this is the branch uh, arm version of the branch exchange with the link, and this is the thumb version of the branch exchange. For the thumb version of the branch exchange. So both are same only. So thumb version of the branch exchange, you can just observe here. Thumb version of the branch exchange. This is what we have to do here. So then let us do that one. Okay. So one. Okay. Uh, one more thing we forgot it here. Branch exchange with the link or not when you do it here, uh, the important thing that we forgot here, that is link register is also stored here. Okay. That is the important thing. So link register. What will be the link register? Address of the next instruction. If we just just go back here, that is address of the next instruction after the BLX. So, so what is the address of the next instruction after the BLX? So address of the next instruction after the BLX. So, so uh, this is the address of the instruction. So let me write that one. So what you have is. Zero x triple zero nine triple zero c. This is the address of the instruction after the BLX. So what happens here is this. So link register will be containing zero x triple zero nine triple zero. Okay, sorry. This is triple zero eight. So triple zero eight, isn't it? So this is the uh, address of the instruction after the BLX instruction. 
So, whatever the instruction that could be here, yeah. So, the first address after the BLS instruction that is 000, 0 0x0009 000 000 8, yeah. So, definitely link register will be containing this one. This will help in the returning to the ARM code with this address. So, when this BXR14 gets executed, so now what happens? R14 means here it is link register. So, R14 is same as the link register here, isn't it? So, R14 is same as link register. So, what happens here is now link register value. So, PC will be containing. So, what is the link register value that you have it here? So, 0x000 triple zero triple zero eight here. So, triple zero nine triple zero eight. So, triple zero nine triple zero eight. So, this will be handed with 0x f f f f f f f e. So, when this is done, so what happens here is 0x triple zero nine triple zero eight only. So, but what is the value of the t here? Just observe here. The t value is from this one actually what you have to get that is r14 rm that is rn of 0. So, R14 of 0 bit 0 is if this value is 1, what is the value of this one? 1, 1 triple 0. So, here bit 0 is 0 here, is not it? So, bit 0 is 0 here. So, T will be 0. That is why now it switches from uh, thumb state to arm state. When it switches from thumb state to arm state, When it switches from thumb state to arm state, when it switches from thumb state to arm state, what is the PC address it will have? The PC address it will have is uh, this is the PC address that will have. So triple zero nine triple zero eight. So that is the address of the instruction after the uh, BLS instruction. So definitely the instruction resumes uh, from the uh, this this address that is the address of the instruction after BLX. That is how actually see in this uh, type of execution we did not have any kind of uh, uh, move instruction move LR comma PC and all those things it is not required. So, that is one advantage that you have it here is not it. So, we do not require uh, any of the move LR comma PC. So, the instruction becomes very simple here. So, as you can observe here it is uh, nowhere actually we have used here. So, that is why whenever we use branch exchange with a link you are uh, before you actually exit from the arm state to the thumb state you are actually storing the information of the address of the next instruction in the link register. So, when you store the information that is address of the next instruction in the link register when you retrieve it back you are definitely going to have that uh, link register again you get it back to PC and that PC actually you will get it back here then the instruction resumes in the arm state. So, this is what we have to know branch exchange with the branch exchange link, branch exchange is BX, branch exchange with the link is BLX. There are two versions, one version that you harm version and the version is thumb version. So, this is how the uh, changing of the state from one uh, uh, that is arm state to thumb state or from thumb state to arm state, this happens with the help of the branch exchange instructions. Okay. So, um, I hope everyone understood this one. Okay. Thank you.